Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rob, and today's video is going to be how to create a custom ringtone for your iPhone using iTunes on a Windows PC. Just the other day, I released a short, but I thought I would make a full-length video for those of you that want to follow along at a bit of a slower pace. Before we begin, I know it's pretty obvious, but we do need an audio clip. I have one right here on the desktop of my computer, but you can use anything you want. You can use your favorite song, an audio clip that you made, uh, a voice recording. Uh, you can even go to YouTube and download uh, music and convert it to an MP3 as well. But whatever the source of your audio clip is, just make sure that you're able to locate it on your computer. You're also going to need iTunes, so it does need to be installed. If you don't have iTunes installed, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can download that. So if you do have iTunes installed on your computer already, we want to open that up. Uh, if you haven't used it in a long time, you might want to update it to the latest version. That's up to you. Once iTunes is open, you want to find that audio clip that you want to use for your ringtone. Just drag it over under music. So you want to make sure that songs is selected over here on the left hand pane and then go ahead and drag that clip over. Once you see the clip under songs, right click it, click on song info, then click on options. And here's where we want to set the start and stop times. So the default ring time for iPhone is 20 seconds. So we want to find something in there, cut out a part of the song uh, that we want to hear when the phone rings and try to keep it within that uh, 20 second time frame. Make sure you click start and stop. And then in my case, I'm going to start this at seven seconds and I'm going to end it at 27 seconds. Once you've done that, click okay. And now with the song still selected, click file, then convert, and then create AAC version. So this is going to create an AAC version of this within the time frame that you selected. Once it's done converting, you're going to see the new AAC version right here, and you will see that it does have the time that we specified. So here it does say 20 seconds. Now, what we need to do is locate this file in Windows Explorer, because right now it has a .m4a file extension, we need to change that to .m4r. So go ahead and open Windows File Explorer. And unless you change this in the settings, the default storage location for iTunes should be under Music, and then iTunes, iTunes Media, Music. And now here's the part where the folder that this converted file is going to be under will depend on the artist, album, stuff like that. So in my case, it's under various artists and the best retro video game music of all time. All right, and there it is. So there's that 20 second uh, clip that we created. So now we have to rename it, but we can't do that right now because Windows is hiding the file extension. So we have to click on view also, this is Windows 10, so if you're on Windows 11, it's probably going to be a bit different. I believe in Windows 11, there are three dots somewhere uh, along the top right edge of the window, and then you would click on Options. So in Windows 10, we want to click on View, Options, and then Change Folder and Search Options. Once this window opens up, click on View, scroll down a little bit, and... Uh, where is it at? We want to uncheck the box where it says hide extensions for known file types. Click OK, and now we see the file extension. Click Rename, and then change that A to an R. We want to confirm, and now we have the ringtone file. Uh, the last step is copying it to the iPhone, and then we'll be good. So make sure you have a lightning to USB cable handy, and grab your phone. Take the phone, plug it into the computer, make sure the phone is unlocked, 
I believe it has to be unlocked for this to work. Keep this file explorer window open and momentarily iTunes should recognize the phone. Once the phone is recognized, you're going to see it over here on the left hand side. We see iPhone 6S Plus and you want to select tones. So we already have one tone here, it's a Cisco IP phone. And to add the one that we just created, open up that file explorer window again, where we rename the uh, .m4a to m4r. Take that file and just simply drag it right over. Now, I don't know what the deal is, but this happens every once in a while. It doesn't, I don't know if it's because we're waiting on uh, the sync to start as you see at the top of the screen here. Okay, so we're obviously waiting on something. It says preparing to sync. I assume that when this is done, we're going to be able to drag that over into tones. Okay, so that's what the problem was. It was trying to synchronize. As long as it's not trying to sync the phone, uh, you should be good to go as far as copying this over. So if you see that X, uh, make sure it's not trying to syn synchronize. And if it is, just wait until it's done, and then you should be able to, at that point, take the file and drag it over into tones. And we now see that the audio clip has transferred over. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug the phone. And that's it.